only, again, as a city, but as a community. So it addresses a lot of different areas. So we have pretty ambitious goals about how to reduce energy and water conservation in buildings. Um, so again, I won't go into the exact percentages, but the real thing to note here is that, again, we are holding ourselves accountable for actually getting those reductions. Um, the actions are kind of where controversy always happens. So the action we have to reduce energy and water use in buildings is through an ordinance that would require a point of sale, so when you sell a house or a building, that you have to certify that you hit a certain energy efficiency and water efficiency standard. So as you can probably imagine this is controversial, and I don't, you know, I don't know if this will remain in the plan after the mayor gets his hands on it because the real estate industry doesn't like this. But the reality is we already have a water conservation ordinance. When you buy or sell a home today, you have to submit a certificate to the city that says that you have water efficient fixtures. If you already have them, like if the current owner of the building already has those fixtures and you're done, right? You don't have to do anything. But if they're old and inefficient, you have to submit a certificate that says you installed more water efficient fixtures. So that exists today. What we would be doing is expanding it to also include energy efficient fixtures. And so, but whenever again you talk about mandates, you get, you know, controversy. That's just the reality. So, the other sort of market based solution is um, what we call PACE programs, which is property assessed clean energy financing. So, basically, what that is is that people are allowed to finance installing solar, installing energy efficiency, installing water efficiency. Um, onto their buildings through their taxes, through their tax um, property taxes. So you can amortize it over 10 or 20 years. And then it runs with the building. So that, let's say, oh, I'm only going to be here for three years. It doesn't make sense for me to install solar, right? Because it's not going to pay off. I'm not going to get that return on investment. But if it runs with the building, that means the next owner of the home will, pay, will continue to pay off that loan. So you're not responsible. You're paying for your slice of it based on however long you stay in that building. 